Now we have a square loop ABCD with an edge length of A. The resistance of the wire ABC is R and ADC is 2R. Find the magnetic field B at the center of the loop assuming uniform wires. Okay. Now there is a correction that this is the correction, this is the current tie and the direction is this. Alright. Now we have to calculate the magnetic field at its center. Fine. We have an edge length of A. So the perpendicular distance this will be A by 2. Alright. And the distance from each of the vertex is uh, A by root 2. Now, now we have to calculate the magnetic field at the center. But before that we have to calculate the current flowing through ABC and ADC. Uh, well, we can directly calculate the current flowing through part ABC is uh, I by 3 and the remaining that uh, will flow through ADC that is 2 I by 3. Okay, the calculation of current is I think pretty simpler because we studied the chapter current earlier. So this current can be easily find out. I assume that. Okay, so I do have a current I by 3 flowing from A to B and then to C. So first of all calculating the magnetic field due to the ABC that will be obviously inside that can be calculated by right hand thumb rule ok so magnetic field first of all due to AB is uh, given by formula mu naught i by 2 4 pi P sin phi 1 plus sin phi 2 alright so dropping perpendicular this distance as I told you is a by 2 this is the distance a by root 2 this is the distance a by root 2 phi will be same ok so I have mu naught i by 4 pi p 2 times of sin phi so the value of sin phi over here is can be easily calculated by taking that this is a by 2 and this is a by root 2 so I have a by 2 divided by a by root 2 ok so a is cancelled we have sin phi comes out to be 1 by root 2 that is 45 degree I mean phi is equal to 45 degree fine so substituting this value over here I have mu naught as 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by 4 pi p this is the perpendicular distance given by a by 2 ok so let it be a by 2 into 2 times of sin phi that is 1 by root 2 so this 4 pi and 4 pi is cancelled so I have 10 to the power minus 7 or uh, let's suppose into 2 root 2 i by a this is the magnetic field due to ab and this will be the magnetic field due to bc2 because the current is in this direction ok we have the same structure as it was right hand side so by similarity I can say that the magnetic field due to ab will be equal to bc fine so then after that we will calculate the magnetic field due to AD ok using the same formula perpendicular distance is A by 2 again 2 sin phi so solving this I get the answer as 10 to the power minus 7 into 2 root 2 into value of I that is 2i by 3 by A ok I haven't substituted the value of I the I is i by 3 ok so we have this is the magnetic field due to AD and same the magnetic field due to DC uh, but the direction over here is opposite that is out of the plane upward so B net at the center will be magnetic field due to AB plus magnetic field due to BC plus magnetic field due to AD plus magnetic field due to AC ok now let us suppose that uh, 
inside the magnetic i mean magnetic field inside the plane is positive and magnetic field outside the plane is positive okay so i have minus of 10 to the power minus 7 2 root 2 by 3 into i by a of course two times because a b and b c are same plus 10 to the power minus 7 2 root 2 into 2i by 3 into 1 by a again two times because uh, b a d is equal to b a c so I'm solving this equation I get the value as mu 4 root 2 by 3 i by a and that is negative so this is my answer negative signs shows that the net magnetic field is inside